Every day around Australia, people move house in order to take up new jobs, to be near family, so that the kids can go to their preferred school, to have access to important services, to have a garden, or to get away from the hustle and bustle. Most of us take it for granted that we can move if we want to, but if you're a social housing tenant, your options are very limited. To move, tenants have to find another tenant to directly swap with. This is hard, and it limits the number of swaps that are possible. This is bad for the taxpayer too. In the UK in 2010, restricted tenant mobility was estimated to cost £542 million per annum. But the number of swaps can be increased significantly using an algorithm to create a chain of swaps. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm the manager of our new Social Housing Home Exchange program. I'm going to show you how it works. Every three months, all tenants are invited to join a swap round. Using the app on their phone or going through our website, those wanting to swap opt in. This means their home is in the pool. Once we know who wants to move, we are able to provide a description of all the dwellings in the pool to the tenants participating in the round. This includes the dwelling location, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, orientation, car parking, everything that people want to know about a home to help them decide whether they would like to live there. Each participating tenant is then asked to nominate and rank the dwellings they are interested in, in order of preference. If a tenant is not interested in any, he or she does not have to nominate any. Let's take a look at a scenario. In this round, Jenny has nominated three properties she prefers to her current home. For Rid, only one. Lola has decided she does not prefer any dwelling to her current home. Viet has listed four properties. Mahini, two. And Kevin and Kingsley, just one each. Now our algorithm goes to work. As Lola did not select any of the other six houses on offer, the algorithm removes her and her house from the pool. As a consequence, both Kevin and Kingsley no longer have a house that they prefer to their own in the pool, so they and their homes are also removed. While Viet listed Kevin and Kingsley's houses, his other nominated property, Mahini's house, is still in the pool, so he stays in the round. This leaves Jenny with two options. Farid with his only preferred option, Viet with one out of his initial four, and Mahini with her two initial options. As Jenny and Mahini still have multiple options, we will now show how they ranked their preferences. Jenny ranked Viet's house first and Farid's house second, while Mahini ranked Farid's house first and Jenny's house second. The job of the algorithm is to identify the maximum number of swaps that are possible. In our example, the algorithm will start with Jenny and uses her first preference. The person who currently has the house that she most wants is next in line. Whoever's house is chosen by the second person is third in line, and so on. Subsequent matches in the chain might be any ranking, but remember, each tenant, by ranking properties at all, is saying they prefer that property to the one they currently have. The algorithm will test if starting with a different tenant will result in more matches. In our example, the sequence of moves forms a chain that is a closed loop or cycle. When there are a large number of people and houses in a round, many chains may be identified. Further, with more people and more extensive preferencing, the algorithm will also rerun once the initial chains have been removed to uncover chains based on lower rankings. In our simplified example, Lola, Kevin and Kingsley miss out for now, but are able to go in future rounds. There can also be chains that are not closed loops. This occurs if a vacant property is added to the round. 
In this example, Josie takes Ivan's house with Ivan taking Natalia's house. Hung prefers the vacant property. This leaves Josie's house vacant. In the next reiteration, Josie's former property will be included as the vacant property. We support swaps because it means being able to house more people and because tenants who have housing that better matches their needs are happier and have pride in their homes. It means more of our tenants and their children are able to access jobs, education and get and provide support. This makes building communities so much easier and it saves public money.